Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 19, Lesson 2. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says I can graph a point on a coordinate grid and interpret the coordinate values. Their learning objective is to graph points on a coordinate grid and interpret the coordinate values. Prior learning is that students drew points, lines, line segments, rays, angles, and perpendicular and parallel lines, and students identified perpendicular and parallel lines in two-dimensional figures. All right, so moving into the lesson, we're on page 477, we have a spark your learning. It says the map shows the location of two buildings. Each unit represents one block. Andy is at the art museum, and Carl is at the history museum. They agree to meet at the library. The library is at the intersection of a street that is three blocks south of the art museum and a street that is five blocks west of the history museum. So who walks farther to get to the library? All right, so we have two things going on. We have to first figure out where the library is on our grid, and then we have to figure out who walked further to get there. Um, Andy, who was at the art museum, or Carl, who was at the history museum. All right, so first we need to point out some information. It says that the library is at the intersection of A Street that is three blocks south of the art museum and then five blocks west of the history museum. So let's figure out where that library is. So from the art museum, I'm going to go south three or down three. So one, two, three. So now I'm at the line six. All right, so that's three blocks south. That's the street that it'll be on. Then it's saying five blocks west of the History Museum. So the History Museum, now I'm going to go five blocks west to the left and figure out where that's at. So one, two, three, four, five. So now I'm at the that four line. All right, so our library is where those two lines intersect. Right, so my X coordinate is now at four and my Y coordinate is now at six. And then we want to label this library. All right, now we need to figure out the different trips. So first is going to be Andy. So from the art museum, Andy is going to go, let's just start with going down. So she's going to go down one, two, three three so she's going um three south and then she's going one two over to the east so then two east and that is for andy carl he's starting at the history museum to the library so let's instead of trying to um go over the words history museum i'm going to start going up so he needs to go one two three up, which is north, and then he's going to go one, two, three, four, five to the left, which is west, and that is for Carl. All right, so who went further? Well, if Andy went three blocks and then two blocks, she only went a total of five blocks. And then Carl, he went three blocks, then five blocks. So he went a total of eight blocks. So who went the farthest? Definitely Carl. And again, I just did it straight on my grid in the picture instead of trying to redo the dots in the grid um, with the problem that it gave me. So going on to the next page. And now I'm on page 478. I have number one, it says each unit on the map represents one block. The library is located at six, five. The school is located at two, seven. Where is each building located on the map? So we wanna go ahead and answer the questions about where the coordinates are giving us. But first I wanna give you a little tip to use. They give you coordinates, but they don't quite explain what it means. So with this coordinate, my X is always going to come first, and then my Y is going to come second. 
All right, so that should give you the answers to what is the X coordinate, it's the number that comes first, and then your Y coordinate is the number that comes second. And then you're just gonna explain what that means in this problem when you find out the number that you're using. And then for B, go ahead and plot that point on the grid, and then go down to C. How are you now gonna find the location of the school? And remember the school is saying now it's at two seven, and then again, you're gonna go plot the point for the school. All right, so go ahead and try this page on your own and then come back and we will solve it together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great job. Let's go ahead and solve this together. So what is the X coordinate for the library? Well, the library said it was at six, five. So that first number that is gonna be my X coordinate. So my X coordinate is at six. So what does this really mean? Well, it just means that it's going to be six blocks. And again, from zero, you're going to be going to the right. So six blocks right from zero. And then what's the Y coordinate? That's going to be your second number. And that's going to be the five. So your Y coordinate is five. And what does this mean when you're going in the y coordinate you're going to be going up so this means you're going to be going five blocks up from zero okay now plot that location on the coordinate grid and label the point as the library okay so from the origin from zero in that corner we are going to go six blocks right so we've got all the way over to this six and then we're going to go up to the five and that is going to be the line in between the four and the five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way up this line until I meet that line at five. So I know that my coordinate is going to be there for now to practice. You can draw those lines, but eventually we're just going to be doing it um, hovering over it instead of actually writing that line. And if you can do that now, go ahead and start practicing. So this line is going to be our library. Now the next part in C says, how will you find the location of the school? So now the school is at 2, 7. So this is showing that my X coordinate is at 2 and my Y coordinate is at 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the right 2 and then I'm going to go up seven and then i'm gonna um plot that location on the coordinate grid and then label that school so if i go over to the two here now i'm going to go up to the seven which is again in between that six and the eight so if i go up this two line all the way to where it meets at the seven this intersection line is now the school all right go ahead and use this to complete the rest of the problems on this lesson and I will see you back for 19.3.